the growth of every Christian is depend on how they approach the word of the Lord. And today you have opportunity to listen to the word of the Lord from the mouth of his servant, Apostle Jesus Shama. Sit back and relax yourself and prayerfully listen to the word of the Lord. I believe you are going to be blessed. Of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of his wings and then it begins to list a number of possibilities that happen to your life by reason of that state i will say of the lord he is my refuge and my fortress my god in him will i trust i'm praying that among the many things that happen to you that god will show you the value of his presence God will show you the value of remaining in his presence in the name of Jesus Christ that everything that distracts you away from his presence is distracting you from a life of greatness grace and nobility and power you have no idea what can happen to you when you become formed in his presence the rod of Aaron without a root but in the presence of God, it began to bud supernaturally. No plant brings forth branches and fruits out of its connection or outside of its connection to the earth. But the presence of God made that happen over the rod of Aaron. Hallelujah. The life of the overcomer is derived from the depth of your relationship your value for God's presence your value for God's glory and I pray that God will help us tonight that he will turn our lives into signs and wonders in Jesus name God bless you welcome to Koinonia please be seated Hallelujah. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Because among the many things that happen in the house of the Lord is that he will teach us his ways. Hallelujah. They will tell one another, come let us go to the house of the Lord, the mount of the God of Jacob. For he will teach us his ways just one quick announcement to emphasize this is particularly for the workers that our retreat um, as you have been told is coming up this saturday so all workers please know that our retreat for the second half of the year is coming up this saturday 9 a.m prompt the venue will be right here at the basement um, all heads of department please do well to remind your workers it will be a time of prayer it will be a time of fasting pressing into the things of God and then time to build capacity for the remaining part of the year may the Lord grant us grace in Jesus much less name hallelujah and then it's not too early to just express my deep and profound gratitude especially to our family in the US and Canada the response after our last announcement has been nothing short of phenomenal it's been very humbling um what you have done the participation the passion i want to say a big thank you to all of you we do these things because we love jesus we have no ambition in ourselves and of ourselves outside of the revelation of jesus hallelujah we want to see him revealed and the lord will grant us that grace in jesus name we pray are you ready for tonight every time you come to the house of god you must come expectant and come happy when i was watching our precious people the worship team lead us in worship i just kept nodding my head and i was praying a prayer from the depth of my heart that god will bless every one of these people you have no idea the depth of sacrifice what these people do every week the songs they write dotting the I's, crossing the T's, and all that is to make the atmosphere, the assignment of the worship team in this house is to create the atmosphere for the manifested presence of God to find expression. 
and if anything happens that is short of this then they failed in the assignment and we thank them for delivering and even exceeding expectations let's give them a big god bless you for their love and their labor hallelujah and so we'll be starting a two-part series tonight and it'll be this week and next week and as always god is going to be sharpening us and helping us to be greater furnished even unto good works and for all who are connecting across the globe you're welcome call everybody you know around you and ask them to come and sit down and listen for the wisdom of the spirit we're about to explore the word of god and tonight's teaching is one that will position us to be more effective to be greater tools even in the hand of god hallelujah as we see his power and his glory move from nation to nation from continent to continent just being excited about god what god is doing is not enough we must learn to position ourselves and to find out what role would you have me play this is why i was so blessed by the administration that you have a purpose you have a destiny for me to fulfill and as for me i will spend my life to see jesus revealed and jesus glorified i think you should learn that song i think that song should be put online for people to learn and sing and sing it as a prayer of consecration and devotion i have taught you that consecration is twofold number one abstinence from number two devotion unto you must capture these two dimensions of consecration in your christian experience abstinence from then devotion unto if the only thing you know is abstinence from what do you do with the time and the life are we together abstinence from then devotion unto hallelujah so i'm teaching on um a topic that i title greater works part one greater works part one greater works part one hallelujah jesus we lift up your name 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 through our lives Jesus we lift up your name Jesus we lift up your name one more time Jesus we lift up your name Jesus we lift up your name in this house Jesus we lift up your name Jesus, we lift up your name. I can tell you one big secret behind the hand of God upon our lives and this ministry is that in truth we have no agenda whatsoever to glorify and reveal self. The singular pursuit in its entirety through all of our programs and all that we do is to present Jesus, the living Christ, the glorified King, to the nations and to do that unashamedly and to do that without confusion when that becomes a theme and the template of your life there is no limit to how far god is able to use you you have heard me say that the lord told me years ago that if you will let men see me there is nothing i will not give you the mundane things that we chase in futility can only be found not by seeking them but by living a truly surrendered life. You will lay up gold as dust. You will access wisdom beyond your imagination. He will take you light years ahead of your contemporaries. When you die indeed and your entire agenda becomes to see him revealed. Many times we try to use Jesus. This is the reason why we're never able to get the best of God. 
we want to use him to build a destiny defined by ourselves and on our own terms many times we want to use him to get fame we want to use him as a ladder to ascend heights and take away the feeling of feeling of of being failures and those things are too small a reason when your life is bent on being spent to see jesus revealed then there is absolutely nothing he cannot do in and through your life a very simple concept but it's easier said than done because exalting jesus will demand that you consciously die to yourself die to your ambitions dying to your agenda is not folding them away is dethroning them and exalting the christ and his purposes above them hallelujah praise the name of the lord greater works part one god desires that across the nations of the earth including our nation that there be a display and a manifestation of the power and the glory of god once again there have been prophecies from scripture and even from patriarchs fathers of faith who are now part of the cloud of witnesses that before jesus christ returns there will once again be a wave of the spirit a move of the spirit across the globe history is full of people who left these prophetic words some of them as their final words to the earth as they transited and thankfully some of them their words were captured thanks to technology and preserved for our generation and even the generation to come that many of them told us that as much as we saw god use them that that was not the best yet that there were still greater manifestations of the power of god hallelujah the spirit of god is moving across the earth from africa to europe to america across the continents of the earth stirring a heart a fire revival that we will see the global harvest like never before we will see transformation territories that will be brought in subjection to christ and some of them it will happen in one moment shorter and sooner than we think would happen and this is even by the spirit of god so god desires that before jesus returns there be a manifestation of the power and of the glory of god once again upon the earth and this is very very important very very important you must believe this let's go to our text for tonight john chapter 14 and verse 12 jesus is speaking and he makes a very profound statement he says verily verily i say unto you he that believeth on me he says the works that i do he shall he do also and greater works than this shall he do why because i go unto my father i want you to look at this statement very carefully do not assume you understand it i say unto you this is jesus speaking the way and the truth the works that i do all of the supernatural manifestations and everything you saw me do whilst on earth it says you shall do and greater works than this for many years i studied this scripture and it disturbed me because in my mind i thought what could anybody do that would be greater than what jesus has done hallelujah the word incarnate we're talking about not an angel not some prophet somewhere jesus himself makes a very serious statement that he that believeth on me the works that i do he shall also do and then he says greater works greater works than these that you see shall you do and the reason is because i go unto my father hallelujah for our discussion tonight i want to start by giving us three reasons why we should believe in the concept of greater works there are three reasons that i want to point out why every believer must believe for a certainty that before jesus returns this greater work agenda is doable and will be achieved in the world of men number one the first reason why you should believe in the concept of greater works is that jesus himself said so the very first reason why we must believe 
that it is possible to walk and live the reality of greater works is that Jesus himself said so. Numbers chapter 23, please, and verse 19. Jesus as God said so. And the Bible tells us here without confusion that God is not a man that he should lie. Neither the son of man that he should repent. Hath he said and shall he not do it? Or hath he spoken and shall he not make it good? So we know for a certainty that because this came out of the lips of Jesus himself, this agenda will not fail. This agenda will not be aborted. This agenda will not be lost. That greater works than these shall you do. Number two. Why should we believe as believers, as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ, that before Jesus returns, there will be a manifestation of greater works? Number two, the believer has been given, I, I wrote here, authority through Christ. We have authority today through Christ Jesus. That has positioned us to a realm where we are able to manifest greater works. The believer has been given authority today through Christ. Four scriptures very quickly. In Matthew chapter 28 from verse 18 to 20. Matthew 28, 18 to 20. Jesus came and spake unto them saying, All power, New King James I believe would translate it to authority, has been given unto me in heaven and in the earth. Verse 19 says, Go ye therefore, go with this consciousness that all authority in heaven and the earth has been given to me it says go ye therefore and teach all nations baptizing them in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy ghost verse 20 it says teaching them to observe all things whatsoever i have commanded you and whilst you do this have this consciousness that lo i am with you all way even to the end of the world why should we believe in the concept of greater works jesus has been exalted and the believer through christ has been given access to authority in luke chapter 10 and verse 19 luke 10 19 new king james please luke 10 19 he says behold i give you authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you i give you i give you authorities the greek word exousia the capacity to legislate on my behalf i give you authority to trample upon serpents scorpions and over all the power of the enemy listen to me it is important for you to understand that the very authority that was conferred upon Jesus is what he gave the church. Hallelujah. In Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 6, we can go back to KJV. Ephesians 2 and verse 6, the Pauline epistle now. The Bible says, Paul speaking, and had raised us up. We have discussed this in previous teachings. Raised us up together and made us to sit together in heavenly places in Christ. The Bible declares that every believer in Christ has been raised up with Christ and we have been made to sit together. Very simple elementary concept, but it contains such profound power if and when understood. He has raised us up. And when you back down to Ephesians chapter 1, it lists the implication, all the things that we have been raised above. And it talks about thrones, principalities, powers, thrones, dominions, and every name that is named, not only in this world, but even in the world that is to come. The second reason why we must believe in the concept of greater works. Number three, what is the third reason why we must believe in the concept of greater works the bible tells us that we have access to the spirit of god on account of the finished work of jesus christ every believer today has access to the spirit of god the presence of the holy spirit in us and with us is our guarantee that we are able to walk greater work acts 1 and verse 8 it says ye shall receive power 
after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you and you shall be witnesses unto me are we together the capacity to be witnesses is predicated upon the coming the presence the remaining of the Holy Spirit this Acts chapter 1 verse 8 officially Acts chapter 2 began what we call the dispensation of the Spirit in the Old Testament it was God for us while Jesus walked upon the earth he was God with us Emmanuel and from Acts chapter 2 until Jesus returns it is the dispensation of the Holy Spirit God in us Jesus said he shall be with you and then shall be in you the presence of the Holy Spirit in the life of the believer and backing that believer up is a guarantee and the shorty the confidence the basis of our believing that such a concept is not just a figment of man's imagination not just some parable somewhere but God's desire and intent and will happen before Jesus returns Acts I want to appreciate you as you have watched this message and listened to it and I want you to pray from your heart I want you to believe God for the miracle that is going to manifest in you. And I want you to also share this message. And also, if you have not subscribed, subscribe to this channel that the Lord will richly bless you. Don't forget that we are preparing for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. If our Christianity only be on this earth, it will do us no good. That is why we are preparing and trying to use this medium to reach out to as many. So if you have not given your life to Christ, try to do so and live a faithful life and a winning life to the glory of God. May God keep you. May God bless you. As you have listened to his servant, Apostle Jesus Shama. God bless you.